welcome to Watch Me Code. If you've been following along with Watch Me Code for a while now, you've probably seen some of my previous screencast series covering things like MongooseJS Fundamentals, the Pro Express JS series, where I cover all things Express and how I use it, even the Complete RabbitMQ series, where I cover in depth on how to work with RabbitMQ, including all of the additional things that I built for it inside of the Complete RabbitMQ for Developers bundle. While it's nice to see all of these individual series, sometimes you gotta sit back and wonder, how do I put this all together into an actual application? And while I've often showed bits and pieces of individual applications that use these, I've never really put it all together into one cohesive system. So over the next probably 15 to 20 episodes at least, I want to do exactly that. I'm going to build something that I actually need in order to improve the experience at Watch Me Code. I'm going to build a media service that will serve the individual episodes out to your browsers or your downloads or however it is that you end up wanting to get the episodes. And this media service is going to do a number of things other than just deliver the actual episodes. It's going to track which episodes have been downloaded. It's going to use information based on IP address to tell me where generally in the world you live. It's going to do things like tell me what browsers or mobile devices are actually downloading or watching the videos. And it's going to give me a bunch of reports based on all of this information so that I can see which episodes are the most important to people, which ones are the most popular, and where in the world people are actually using my videos. It's going to be a nice little system, and it's going to have a lot more features than just what I've described so far. There's going to be a lot of details in here that I want to cover while I'm actually building it. And I'm going to be building this while you're watching me do it through the Watch Me Code screencast series. Once I'm done with this, it's going to become a part of the actual Watch Me Code website as the way that I serve individual episodes out to the browsers, instead of the way that it's currently done. For example, if you, if you head over to the Watch Me Code website right now, pick any random screencast that you want to, you'll see in this download link that there's this odd little URL that's formed based on Amazon AWS. And if I pull up a text editor and paste that in there, this is a ridiculously long and awkward URL to have. Well, this URL is something special, though. It's a pre-signed URL with security around the actual download from Amazon. So this is using Amazon S3 to store the actual download, and it's using this pre-signed URL to give this particular download link a timeout limit so that it can be downloaded as needed. But there's a couple of things that I really can't do with this, including getting good stats out of what files are actually being downloaded, and tracking where in the world people are downloading from, among other things that I've mentioned already. So the service that I'm going to build for you in Watch Me Code is going to be this download service, but also the service that will host the actual episodes to play right here. And as we progress through the service, you're going to see a lot of different features and capabilities built in using a lot of different technologies, including, of course, Node.js and Express.js, but also things like Amazon S3, Keen.io for statistics and reporting, Raygun.io for error tracking in production environments, MongoDB, RabbitMQ, and how all of these things integrate together into one cohesive system. At the end of the series, you'll have seen from the ground up how to actually use all of the technologies and tools that I use on a daily basis to build a real live system that can be put into production, including the hosting of and production issues and support that you have to do in order to actually make this thing work. So join me on this epic journey through building an actual application, and be sure to follow along inside of this GitHub repository at github.com slash watchmecode slash architecting dash express dash apps. Here, you'll be able to follow along all of the individual episodes so that you can see what we've done in the past and potentially where we're going in the future, depending on at what point you join in the series. I hope you're ready for this incredible journey as we get ready to start building a production application using all of the tools, techniques, and technologies that you've already seen in Watch Me Code. <laughs>